Okay, so the reason for coming here was to find the large fruited cranberry or Fascinium macrocarpon and we have it right here right here right down near the water and all, all the way over there is growing a nice shrub like looking thing here what you'll notice to identify it is that the undersides of the leaves are paler than the tops which are glossy the edge is um, blunt and um, basically uh, it's not that hard to mistake um, but to be honest the real thing that I came to see as much as I love food and cranberries and food crops here's some sundews by the way some round leaf sundews big colony there what I really was hoping to see my favorite what I would like to someday work to protect is this guy this guy is Saracenia purpurea and he was lucky enough to here's a here's the cranberry growing right this is exactly what I wanted here's the cranberry growing right with a purple pitcher plant and you even have a seedling coming up right there you can see so we've got this is exactly what I wanted I wanted to show here's a baby white cedar right there we've got the vaccinium macrocarpon American cranberry growing with one of my favorite plants in the whole world which is the purple pitcher plant growing with Calmia angustifolia or sheep laurel and I'm sure there are sundews here as well I'm probably stepping on some that's kind of hard to avoid in the pine barrens but what uh, is harder to come by is purple pitcher plant because uh, we have some brilliant folks in the gene pool that should be eliminated that like to dig these up and then try to grow them and probably kill them this is a nice plant that is a nice plant probably at least 10 years old they grow very slowly from seed and then we have our cranberries um, this is successful even though we couldn't get to the spot I wanted to get to we have sphagnum moss right here the heads and we have cranberry all over and this is a nice big cedar and a nice big cedar base going all the way up oh what a nice cedar and we see the not brackish water it's, it's tannins because brackish means salt oh. but this is pure fresh water sand underneath it, sand underneath it rust color from um, the iron in the water they uh, mined iron out of the um, bogs here called pig iron and during the Revolutionary War and uh, and that's partly what turns the water red the other part is the tannins or um, the really bitter components that um, similar to what you would find that makes your tea bitter those are uh, tannins anyway and here we have more sphagnum moss that's growing more aquatically um, and if we go along the edge we might see something I don't think uh, I didn't see anything. I don't think my mom saw anything. But if we bridge a gap over here, let's just give a little bit of a chance. Oh, we have we have cranberry galore. Cranberry all over here. This is 
This is the mats of cranberry.